Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical trials programming. So we know that there are oncology specific STTM domains as per the CD standard STTM. So we have seen what are those three STTM domains in one of the previous video, but we'll take a quick recap of those three domains and then we'll see how to easily remember the variables in RS domain. So what happens in a oncology clinical trial is you will first identify the tumors present in the body of the patient and then you would assess or measure those tumors and then you would determine the response of those tumors to your study treatment. So the list of identified tumors would be stored in a domain named TU and then the measurements of those tumors measured during screening and treatment period and follow up period would be stored in your TR domain and then the response of those tumors will be stored in RS domains. Now we will see how to easily remember the variables in RS domain. So let's say there is a patient and who has undergone body scanning and let's say there are target tumors identified, identified and non-target tumors identified. So we need to assess our treatment in terms of or the impact of our treatment on target lesions and non-target lesions and the overall response of the patient or the tumors in the body of the patient to our study treatment. So what are the questions that generally come? So which study is this and then which subject and the date of scan because we would assess the response using the scans performed on the patient. So we would see we would need to know what is the date of that scan which we are using to evaluate the response of the tumors of the patient and then so we assess the response in terms of three things what is the response of the target lesions and what is the response of the non-target lesions and what is the overall response so we classify it this way target response non-target response and overall response so we need to know what is the response type and then the actual response whether it is a complete response or partial response or whether the disease is stable that information would be stored in we need to know or we will get to know when we evaluate the scans and then so who evaluated who is determining the response so as we have seen in the previous videos of tu and tr domain so there can be multiple reviewers reviewing a scan like investigators at the site or the in, uh, evaluators sitting in a central reading facility and then if there are multiple evaluators we need to know the specific identification of that evaluator so these are some of the important variables or the information that would be needed in your RS domain so now we will see what are the variables that would be used to store this information into so for study identification we use the variable study ID and for subject so we use the variable u sub id and for the date of scan we use rstdc and the response of which means the type of the response so we use the test cd variable to identify whether it is target lesion or non target response or the overall response so we use rs test cd and rs test combination to identify the response that is being recorded for a tumor type and then the response which is the whether it is complete response or partial response or stable disease or progressive disease would be stored in your RS ORRES and then who evaluated would be stored in your RS evaluator or RS EVAL variable and then if there are multiple evaluators we use the variable RS eval ID to store the identification number like radiologist 1, radiologist 2 etc in your RS eval ID and then so if in all the findings domains whenever we have date variable we should automatically try to remember that that date will be associated with a pre-specified visit or an unscheduled visit so we have three variables three variables should come automatically into our mind whenever there is this concept of visit so one is visit number which is the numeric notation of that visit number and then the character description of that visit will be stored in your visit variable and for each of the scheduled visits there would be an associated target day for each of those visits so we will store that information in visit dy and then based on the date we will derive the epoch variable to identify whether it is performed during screening period or treatment period or during follow up period so similar to all the other date variables we derive the study day for 
the date variable. So the study day variable for RSDTC is your RSDY. So RSDY is for study day, visit num, visit and visit day y are the variable that would be used to store the visit level information and the target day of the visit and the derived epoch. So and then whenever we have the concept of result, the other variables that should come into our mind is the standard result notation. So in this case of RS domain in terms of oncology results, so we do not need units. So we capture the result as for the complete partial stable or progressive disease. So there is no unit associated with it. But in general, so whenever we say result, there is we should automatically try to remember that there is original result and standard result. So in standard result, there are two notations. One is character and the second one is numeric. And if units are associated, we'll have original result unit and also original result unit, a standard result unit. And then, so we need to, or we should be able to easily remember some of the test CDs that could be seen in RS domain for oncology trials. So RS test CD of target response would be used to store the response of your target lesions overall. And then we use the test CD value of NTRG, N for non, TRG for target, RESP for response, non-target response would be stored in this test CD. And then RS test CD of overall response would OV, RL, RESP would be used to store the overall response. A combined response of your target and non-target lesions would be stored in your, in the row corresponding to overall response. So this is how you can easily remember some of the test CDs and some of the variables that will be needed in RS domain. Thank you for watching and keep learning.